Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can sync Google Calendar with the iPhone built-in calendar on the iPhone 14 series. First, let's go back to the home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. And on the home screen, tap on settings. In settings, we go down and tap on calendar. So tap on calendar and then tap on accounts. Next, we need to tap on add account. And in here, tap on Google. Next, we need to sign to Google with your email address or your phone number. And then put in the password. Okay, so put in the account password and tap on next. I put in the wrong password, so I will try again. Okay, next, you'll be presented with a Gmail screen in here make sure calendars is switched on and then tap on save this will allow you to sync google calendar to your iphone calendar now after that swipe up to go back to the home screen and then tap on the calendar app in here at the bottom tap on calendars you can see at the moment it is trying to sync your google, um, google calendar events to the built-in iphone calendar so if you tap on that you can see at the top here there is a spinning wheel. It is uh, indicating that uh, Gmail is currently syncing your calendar. So give it a few moments uh, for all of the events from Google Calendar to sync to your device. In here, you can also choose which calendar to show or hide. So anything that you want to hide, you can simply deselect the checkbox. And then tap on Done. And if you have any events, from your Google Calendar, it should be synced to your iPhone Calendar. Okay, so we can test it out. Here I have installed the Google Calendar native app. And if I open it up, if I open up the Google Calendar native app, and if I am um, wanting to create any event in here, so I'm going to tap on the, the 27th of January. So I tap on that, and then I will create a new event. And then event here, and then I will say Google Calendar Sync. All right, so I'm going to set it at 7 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. And in here you can set some other options as well, add people, uh, location, etc. So I'm just going to tap on save for now. All right, so I have created a new event on the 27th of January. Now, if I go back to my iPhone built-in calendar, it should sync through the new event on the 27th. Now, at the moment, you can see there is nothing coming in yet. Give it a few minutes because um, while the calendar has been created, it will take a few minutes to sync through on the background. So give it a few moments and then you should see it coming through. So I'm just going to pull it down to refresh. Now in here, we're going to double check to make sure it is turned on. So just give it a few moments. Okay, so after a minute, you can see the data has sync through. And here I have an event at 7.30. So it's from 7 to 7.30. Uh, calendar is from IT Jingles test at gmail.com. And I have 30 minutes before. And it said Google Calendar Sync. And it is coming from my Google Calendar. So just give it a few minutes for the um, sync to go through. And you should see it will sync to the iPhone. Okay, so what about syncing the events from the iPhone calendar to the Google Calendar? So again, we're going to open up the calendar when you create a new event. So here I'm going to create a new event. So I'm going to say sync to iPhone and we're going to set a time so start at say 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. and in the note I'm going to write test sync and then in the calendar 
tap on that and make sure you choose the Google Calendar. You can see here by default it is set to my Outlook Calendar. Now if you want to sync it to your Google account, make sure that you select your Gmail and then tap on Add. And you can see here it says Sync to iPhone. Now again, you need to give it a few moments for the data to sync to your Google Calendar. So if I open up my Google, Google Calendar, you can see it's already syncing over. And here, if I go down, you can see it say sync to iPhone. And here is the description, test sync. And that's it. So that is how you can sync your Google Calendar to the iPhone Calendar on the iPhone 14 series. Now when creating an event, you can see it's always using my default um, calendar from Outlook. And then if you want to use Gmail as the default calendar, then what you can do is go into settings and then go down and tap on calendar. Next, we scroll down and tap on default calendar and then set your Google Calendar as the default calendar. And now if I go back to my calendar and if I tap on add, it should now use Gmail or Google Calendar as the default calendar. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for my videos.